Transformers opens around Australia today, and I'm lucky enough to be here with Michael Bay. Michael, welcome How to Australia. No, it's, well, I'm glad to be here. It's really a beautiful country. So why Australia for the premiere of uh, Transformers? Well, I, I don't pick uh, where the, the movies open. Uh, it's the foreign department does it. Um, there was a good window. Uh, our movie opens in the States July 2nd. It was July 4th, and there's so much fan interest. We've, we're moving up to the 2nd. You guys are the 28th. So it opens here, Korea, uh, China, um, some other Asian territories. So I felt it was very important to come down here to, you know, support the film. And, you know, it's also beautiful out here. <laughs> now, last night was the first time you saw it with a, a large audience. Is that right? It's not the first time. I've, I've, done, I've done test screenings uh, with audiences. It's the first kind of public um, viewing of the, of the finished movie in the world right here. So. And how did you feel sitting in? I, was, I thought it was really fun. I mean, I heard a lot of Australians don't uh, scream at the screen. And not as, not really as much as the States, no. A lot of applause, and uh, so it, it, it seemed like we got a great reaction. And at what point did you think, this is working? Oh, God, I don't know if you ever know if it's working, you know? Um, I think at the end, when they, they had that huge applause at the end of the movie. And what, what appealed about Transformers as a, as a concept and then as a story? I've been, uh, through my career, offered a lot of superhero movies. Uh, I haven't really been interested in doing. Um, this was something that I thought was new and different. There was a woman, when I did a test screening in the States, she's 35, and she goes, I was not excited to see this movie. I love this movie. And the guy who was doing the focus group said, why? And she goes, because it reinvents the superhero movie. We've seen the suits. We've seen the capes. And she goes, I'm bored of that. This is new and different. Um, taking the, the toy line, which became a cartoon, and then reinventing it, you had a lot of fan comments, a lot of pressure, and a lot of backlash. Mm -hmm. How did that affect your, your, you personally and also your decision-making process? Yeah, when I was updating the robots, um, they just didn't understand why I didn't take the cartoon version of the robot design and just make it for the big screen. And I'm like, that's the equivalent of, of like the Marshmallow Man and Ghostbusters, okay? It just, they're so boxy. I would love to do that for the fans. Just show a 35-foot tall, put it in a real <laughs> environment, in a movie, and just show how lame it would mm. look, you know? So these are extremely complex robots, and I would listen to the fans, but, you know, because you've got to respect the franchise, um, but you still have to make your own movie. Did you find it bizarre that you had death threats and people, you know, 39,000 people trying to hack your computers? Yes, yeah, it was very it's bizarre. It's surreal? It is, it is surreal. It's, uh, I've never been involved with a movie where they've tried to steal so much stuff. Mm. Um, uh, how images would leak and, like, wherever they find it. We've tried so many different security measures. The only thing with the script, no one ever got the final script because uh, uh, the, the final script was on my computer and I would hand pages to the actors. So I'm the only person who has it with the writers. It must be frustrating that uh, national security sort of approach to well, making a someone film hacked to, my to personal computer in my house. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Mm. You know? We oh, caught that guy. You did? Oh, yeah. And? Oh, we caught 10 him. 10 to 20 in the federal no, penitentiary? No, we, we see. I got <laughs> some military them. dudes that deal with him. <laughs> How important was humor? Um, I've always done humor in my movies. Uh, you know, when, when I did The Rock, it really wasn't written funny, and I just kept using improv with Nick and Sean, and we made a lot of funny out of that movie. Um, uh, you know, humor to me is always, if it's based in reality, it's, it's just I love it. I mean, you, let's say, face it, I mean, it's, it, it is a summer movie, and you want people to have a good time, um, and you're trying to entertain people. So the thing I've heard about the, the, the Pirates 3 and Spider-Man 3, I haven't heard them, but they just take themselves so seriously, there's not enough humor. I've heard that a lot. And Shia LaBeouf, how important was he to the, to the film? I mean, it, it's his story. And this kid, uh, Steven talked about him. And uh, I said, I'm inter interviewing this kid, Shia. And Steven Spielberg said, he goes, that kid's great. And I'd seen one of his movies. Um, you know, he's 19 when I hired him. He looks like he photographs like he's a 16-year-old. But truly funny. And he's like a young Tom Hanks. And now he's, he's moving on to do Steven's movie, Indiana Jones 4. So uh, the kid's a real deal. He's got a real natural sort of comic, every kid kind of presence. Yeah, but he's not like a... I didn't want a guy who was a geek, yep. you know? I, you know, if you notice, there's one scene where he uses humor to the cool guy to come back. And instantly, every guy's been in that situation, and you, you like him because, you know, he, just the way he come, he's able to come back at people. You wish you had said those sort of things yeah. to the job. Well, I wish I was that witty. <laughs>
Now, the, the film sets a new benchmark for special effects. Um, where do you, and I believe you've just bought Digital Domain, is that yes. right? Where do you see effects going from here and 3D? Is that the way of I think cinematic? 3D is a really interesting thing um, uh, to be explored. Um, I'm not necessarily personally into HD photography yet. I don't think the cameras are there. I think there's a lot of problems with it. Um, uh, but, you know, it's just effects just make it so that you can anything you imagine you can almost do you know um so uh this is a movie transformers we probably couldn't have done it two years ago because it's so complex it made it look as good as it looks uh now you do get a lot of criticism for your style Mm -hmm. and i mean team america world police you know Mm -hmm. really gave it i think i dated his girlfriend that's why he's pissed (laughs) at me yeah well what can i say do you take that personally do you take any of the criticisms on board no you can't you got to do what you do and uh you know, listen, I mean, I've done six movies or whatever, seven, this is my seventh, and sold $2 billion worth of tickets. I mean, at least someone's going to the movie. With the um, complexity of the shots, how do you keep that all in mind, and do you sleep over those two years? Uh, yeah, I d- you do sleep. I mean, um, but my style is I remember everything about the movie. I have messy closets. I, I forget where I put things. I lost my passport, but I remember everything about the movie. I don't know how. I just put it in my brain, and uh, so I live that movie. Um, I'm one of those directors that uh, never leaves a set. You know, uh, a lot of directors will go back to their trailer. I mean, I, I'm always on the set. I'm I'm always setting cameras. I'm always doing something to you know that to me that's the creative place. And um, so I go home tired, and I'm able to sleep very well. So. And now after this press period's finished and you set back. I mean, do you worry particularly about the box office? I mean, it's an expensive movie. Well, it's not that expensive compared to, you know, it's it's it, it's one of the cheaper movies out this summer. So, um, of course you worry about it. Uh, I, I think from the tracking it's going to do quite well. Tracking is where they study what people want to see, like what they do in America. Um, there seems to be a gigantic interest for it in the States. So, um, you know, you just do what you do and hope they come. Transformers 2? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. We've got to see how this one does. You know, they are actually, they're starting to, to work on hiring writers right now. Mm-hmm. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank you.